All right, there you go, sweetheart. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, stop being so silly. Come on, scoot over so I can read you a bedtime story. So, which story would you like me to read? The Little Mermaid? Or maybe Rapunzel? Hmm? A different story? Hmm. Alright then. Have I ever told you the story of soulmates? <laughs> Alright, let me tell you. <clears throat> Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a girl who was known to be very kind. To others, she was seen as beautiful, smart, and most of all, a princess. Every boy in school was in love with her. Even the shyest one of them saw her as a princess. No, a goddess. One day, the girl had stayed after school to help the librarian put away some books when she had heard something outside the window. She quickly looked outside to see some students pushing around a boy who held his things close to himself. The girl ran outside to help out the boy in need, but was only pushed away. The boy saw that the girl was trying to help him, but ended up getting himself hurt instead. So, the boy decided to help and protect the girl from the other group of bullies by shielding her from the bully's abuse, taking all of their hits. <laughs> yeah, he did protect her like a prince would. What happened after that? Hmm. After the group of boys left, the girl went up to him to see if he was alright and check for injuries. She offered her hand to him, and once he took it, time stood still and the pain he felt had vanished. Hmm, it's kind of hard to explain that part. Maybe tomorrow you can ask your father and how he felt, yeah? <laughs> alright, my love, go get some sleep. Of course they lived happily ever after. He was a gentleman, after all. What was even better was that when the couple received weird looks or heard harmful rumors about them, they still loved each other no matter what. When the time comes, you'll know. Until then, you need to get some sleep. Good night, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. Miss Wesley, my shoulder's in pain again. No, oh, uh, where did the nurse go? <sighs> you don't have to worry too much about her. I'm pretty sure she'll be back soon. Mm, are you all right? What are you looking for? Oh, they're up the- ah. ah! Ow! Sorry. It's on the second cabinet. The upper shelf. What? Don't you need some too? Why don't you take some first and then I can take some afterwards? Okay? <laughs> hey now, I insist. I wouldn't be a gentleman if I took them first. Go on, just take it. See? It wasn't so bad now, was it? Are you feeling better now? Are you sure about that? Your cheeks are pretty red. You're not having a fever, are you? Did you feel that just now? I wasn't imagining anything, was I? <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> I know this is going to sound embarrassing, but do you think I could hold your hand? <sighs> wow. To think something like this is real? It's kind of fascinating, don't you think? When my mom told me about the story of soulmates when I was younger, I thought she was just making it up, so I didn't listen to her. <laughs> but now that you're here with me, it's starting to become clear to me that you can see love in a different light once you meet your soulmate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hurting you, especially before we even met. As an athlete, I continued to practice every single day without even thinking about the pain you had to go through. Just thinking about you being in pain because of me is something I shouldn't be forgiven for. But I will definitely make it up to you now. <sighs> when you're stressed with schoolwork, I'll be there to massage your shoulders. Or- OR! When you're tired, I'll try my hardest to make sure you sleep peacefully so I can see your adorable face. Or... maybe... <laughs> but in all seriousness, things will be different now. We're going to be making mistakes on the way, but I'll be there to heal those wounds. Okay? Okay? 